Bernie Sanders does not answer my calls. Fifteen years, he's never answered a, a telephone call, never replied to a letter, never replied to a meeting that I want to go down and see him. I even had to write a, uh, a, an article on this called, uh, Bernie, We Thought We Knew Ye. Uh, one of the problems he's going to face, uh, other than his great, good graces in Vermont, is that he doesn't have good political antennae. Uh, he, he, he doesn't have political social graces, and he's going to have to change that. And a lot of his friends have told me that that's a problem. Uh, but uh, uh, most progressive senators uh, don't really respond to any progressive group that tries to push them to do more than they want to do. Uh, I wrote nine letters uh, to nine progressive senators like Sherrod Brown, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, and saying, look, you're all lone rangers doing good things, but you're going nowhere. So why don't you get together into a caucus of nine, ten, twelve senators in the Senate and push a unified agenda on poverty, on labor, on the environment, on trade, on military policy, you might really get somewhere. At the least, you'll raise these issues more prominently. Not a single response. Called up, said, would they respond? Not a single response. I did finally have to go down and meet with the general counsel uh, for Senator Warren. But by and large, uh, that's the problem of the left. That's the problem of progressives. They don't link with one another. You never see Heritage Foundation or Cato or all these right-wing groups uh, tolerate members of Congress treating them that way who are supposed to be on their side. Uh, Ralph Nader, uh, Bernie Sanders tweeted on Thursday um, that he looked forward to debating Clinton on, quote, the big issues, income inequality, climate change, and getting big money out of politics. Um, Hillary Clinton had tweeted in response to uh, him announcing for presidency the first formal Democratic candidate against her. She wrote, I agree with Bernie. Focus must be on helping America's middle class. GOP would hold them back. I welcome him into—I welcome him to the race. Your response? Well, 